All right, here is my mini linear synchronous motor. Uh, driven cart, I suppose. Um, so here we have the track, which is just some aluminum U-channel. Um, I am not sure about the effects of the aluminum on the propulsion of the cart. Um, if anything, it should make it slightly more powerful due to uh, induction and such. Um, anyway, I have a row of magnets across the bottom. Uh, they're uh, pretty cheap ceramics, but um, the poles are inverted between each one. Um, so it's a row of uh, 22 alternating poles. Um, and on the cart, um, I have, on top I have my motor driver circuit, um, which is an Arduino with a motor shield on it, um, wired to the solenoids underneath, um, which are a few hundred turns of very fine wire around some 1032 volts. Um, turns out they fit perfectly in Lego. Um, anyway, uh, these are about 8 ohms each, I think. They should be around 8 ohms. Um, either way, they draw enough amperage at 12 volts that I can only run it for a maybe a minute or two at a time. Uh, so I'll have to make it quick. Um, anyway, the as it turns out, the cart fits perfectly on the U-channel. Um, and rolls pretty nicely. Um, the magnets do grip the um, bolts in the solenoids, and it does slow it down a little bit. Um, that is a bit of an issue, as they cannot properly repel the magnets in the uh, track um, for full power um, moving forward. So I get a lot of jerky motion out of it. Anyway, I have here um, 12 volt supply. I'm going to plug that into the Arduino. And it's set to go. This one should control the number of steps it goes in each direction. Uh, it looks like it's attempting to go that direction, but the wire is pulling it the other way. Or maybe not. Um, turn that so it goes more steps. And there it goes. And it does go off the track. So. And it goes in the other direction. And I should power the rails in some way so that it doesn't get stuck on its own wire. Um, You can see the motion is quite jerky, um, partially due to the uh, holes at the center of each magnet um, not being attractive enough to the bolts. Um, so sometimes they tend to either one half or the other of the magnets, and um, that uh, messes with the next step. Anyway, it's driven. The solenoids are simply given. Um, uh, one of them is given a sine wave, and one of them is given the cosine of the same angle. Um, and the H bridge is driving it, can give it and give it voltage in both directions. And it's being very jumpy. Let me slow it down. Um, so the winding you hear is the PWM driving each coil, and that is actually the sound of the magnets in the base and the track vibrating under the uh, field generated by the coils. Um, it has been going for a little while now. I'll probably have to turn it off in a moment. but it is fully functioning. It does go in both directions. Um, I can tell it to go a specific number of steps, um, though I've not implemented that yet. Um, and the rolling is not the smoothest, but it's the best I can get with what I have right now. Um, and it works, so I think it's pretty cool.
and that's it.